Have you got that other rope? Yeah, I got it. You got it? Because yeah, right. uh, as long as Cody holds that. He's put it on a few times, he hates it. Come here, I'll help you. He can't wait till he's 12 and then he doesn't have to wear a life jacket and he can have a boat license. <laughs> he's sorted it out. He's done it a hundred times. Alright, are we ready? Pick up your hat tight, it's on the floor. And then come up the front. What we need to do is find the charter boat and then go fishing with AR and mark my spots. <laughs> There's a boat there and oh. you can he can monitor what's happening under the water. And there's a lot of development proposed here, so that's like part of it is looking out for it. Is it weedy bottom? Uh I'd say sandy, mixed sandy. So when you say a lot of um, that's the seaport that they want to build. Oh, around here? Yeah. Wow. There hasn't been a lot of research on the island in terms of nature, so... Okay. Wow. Katie, look, there's fish on the sounder. <laughs> Twiggy, get in the boat. The, the research station. Yeah, that's a good marker. We will do some fishing. We've got bait. Up ahead's the ab farm. Okay, cool. I'll get a video of that when we get closer. And this is where they want to build the seaport. On the other side of the ab farm. Okay. This is Smith Bay. Yep. The bays aren't really big here, like proper bays. They're just like shallow indentations. Yep. I wonder whose house that is. The green one. I wonder whose house the green one is. Yeah. Alright, so we're in Smith Bay. We're in Smith Bay and this is the um, Kangaroo Island Abalone Farm. Yumba is the name of the company. They've got abalone farms in Victoria and Port Lincoln. And um, they grow all the abalone out underneath the shade cloth in concrete tanks, pump the seawater in. A bit of controversy is that um, they want to build a big seaport directly um, to the west of it, just right here, right in the bay. Uh, big jetty sticking out and have big Panamax class ships come and load wood chips from the plantations. But that's all pending approval at the moment. Um, so, yeah. But there'd be, uh, well, I don't know about millions, but hundreds of thousands of abalone in there. Wow. So They're all little ones like that, and they grow them to about that big, to about three or four centimetres, or a bit bigger, and then they send them off, freeze them, flash freeze them. How long have they been here for? A uh, long time, yeah. I don't know. What's it called? The name of the company? Yumba. Yumba. Y-U-M-B-A. Okay. And they pump the ocean. 
they pump the ocean water in there. Yeah. And this is Smith Bay. That's where KIPT wants to build their uh, seaport right next to it there, where oh, that yeah. house is there on yeah. the other side there. Okay. Yeah, so it's quite close. To uh, Smith Bay Creek there. KIPT's house. Yumba Aquaculture. Back towards Emu Bay. Yep. Good job. Um, just on the other side of just to the west of Smith Bay and this is where they swim with dolphins and um, they come out and they can be huge pods of dolphin that you swim with. Ashwood Bay we're gonna just sit here and let them come to us Yeah, you put the steps down. Put the steps down because okay. yeah, put the steps down though because that'll help you get back in. Look, here they come, Mum. Here they come. No. Hop it. I'll take Katie, take your cap off. Do you want your t-shirt on as well? Hang on, we just need to go a bit closer to your mum again so we don't drift too far away from her. Just stay in the boat. Your motor's off, you can hop in. So yeah, you just let them swim to you. Here they come, Mum. Here they come. They swam right underneath me before. <laughs> The dolphins twig. Sea dogs. What do you reckon twig? Where are they? Here we go. All the dolphins under the boat. All around the boat twig. Where are the sea dogs? Look at them. Oh, there's a baby one. There's a baby dolphin. Swim towards them.
They're just right here if you want to swim over to them. They're not really going anywhere. Yep. Oh, now they're slowly heading off. They're going that way. Oh wow, 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 wow. They're mating. Stop, stay away. Did you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Wow. Around this corner there, there's these massive cliffs. They're massive. That's so cool. Yeah. Is it a bit of a... Yeah, around the point okay. there, I think. Right. Maybe it's the next one. There's like some forest right come. That's pretty big trees there. Yeah. Secret gully. going as far we're going to go and then we'll turn around and fish or whatever we want to do. We'll just get to the cliffs. Right, shall I? Turn. The main thing with any kind of camera, drone, sunglass, whatever, you just have to turn it on and use it. Exactly. Otherwise, what's the point? What's the point? Just say, give it to him. bugger it, turn it on and go. And then you'll never know what you end up with. This is Cape Cassini. 
old farmhouses. This is where the big cliffs start. Leanne's driving the boat. Cody's waiting to go fishing. Twiggy's looking for sea dogs. <laughs> Crazy, look at the road to get down to it. Wow. Uh, I thought there was someone that side too. Imagine living in that house. I don't know the story about that house, but the road's pretty steep, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And this is this is the <laughs> this is the start of where the cliffs get really big. Um, and then you got Stokes Bay and Middle River, Western River, Cape Border, all the way, in, and that's the very western end of the island. I really want to drop a line. There'd be lobo wobbers, lobo wobbos here, wouldn't there? And abo wabos. Turbo wabos. Yeah. Anchor or something. Carolina. Yep. Yeah. How deep is it? It is 13 meters. So we're probably about halfway between Cassini and Stokes Bay. Guys have a fish and I'll just read. Yep. Sounds like a plan. And the banding in the in the um, rock. Do you want to get a bit closer or right here or just start in the middle? Okay. Now? Yep. Yep, now. Down she goes. What a spot. Mm, just look too good to refuse. Goat fish because they've got little little whiskers like a goat. The, in South Australia we call them red mullet, but look at the colours in them and everything. Yeah, it's almost like a tropical fish. Mm. Red mullet. Red mullet. And I kept my bait on too, so that's good. What's that, Twiglet? Fishy. Look, Twig. Red mullet. Let him go. See ya. See ya. Valley. Look at that twig. Fish. Hold him up. Try and keep him that same level and I'll get back he goes. And I still got my day on. This is the funnest spot ever. Off goes the Trevally. And off goes my bait again. Let's try and get a King George. Big fish. Might be another double hookup. That's the barely working. Reckon? Hmm. Grass. Good job. Yeah, a little rass. Okay. Turn around here. What's 
this like species number nine? I mean, <laughs> four? Oh, Trev. What? Sweep! Yeah. Species number six. Yes! He's a big one too. Nice Have you caught a sweep before? Uh, this is the biggest one I've caught. Sweet. You can eat them, but they've got very tough skin. Yeah. Sweet. When you go snorkeling, you'll like you'll be swimming in a hundred, yeah. a school of a hundred of them. Yeah, yeah. They're usually are really small. Trev. Trev. Trev's fight really hard. Oh, I think I've got two fish on. It. Oh no, another Trev's following. Oh, they're all the all the sweeper following it. Mm. They're gonna. This is gonna be amazing on the fish cam. That's a big Trev. They have to be 24 centimetres. I'll throw them back anyway. You've got heaps of fish to eat still. Exactly. And they don't taste that good, Trey. They good, like taste them. good sashimi. Do they? Yeah. Really? I have to try one, but I only, 